So I'm often being asked, um, how would you advise me as an HR professional? So Shagun, you've said a lot of things around uh, the age of technology, data being the new oil, and some jobs in HR is going to fizzle out, talking about the technology skills that HR professional must embrace. And one thing that is very critical around it is the use the word analytics. You've even done a couple of videos on analytics. You've done things around use analytics using Power BI, analytics using Excel, and I'm already getting overwhelmed and I'm asking, so Shegun, how do I get started even in this analytics journey? Okay, so I have good news for you. I'm going to be sharing very short tips for you to get started even on HR analytics. The very first place you need to start up from is understanding of what HR analytics is about. HR analytics is a data-driven approach to managing people at work. Now, what that means is that there is a gradual movement uh, or a great shift from uh, basing HR decisions on gut feeling and moving it to a much more data-driven approach and your ability to understand that methodology of moving from gut feeling to data-driven approach to managing people is critical. That shift starts from your understanding of starting the HR analytics journey. So it is very critical as an HR professional that if you understand where you are in your career stage as an HR professional, it would help you to understand what you need to do on getting started in HR analytics. If your current level in HR is entry level to mid level range, I have good news for you. You are the resident of HR analytics. You are actually going to be the foot soldier of analytics, meaning the senior execs would be expecting you to crunch the people data. The senior execs would be ex ex expecting you to take care of the HR data, to gather the HR data, to collect the HR data, to start to analyze the HR data and feed that analysis into HR reports that the senior execs would be able to deliver at management meetings. So as a senior exec, you need to recognize that for you to be able to interpret the HR data, that your HR analyst, that, that the HR data guys have crunched, that the entry level to mid-level, mid-range, uh, mid-level professionals have created for you on the HR analytics part, you need to understand what exactly the data is. So you need to have a general appreciation of data generally. You need to have a general appreciation of how does the people data translate to making better HR decisions. So your journey to getting started in HR analytics starts from you understanding what HR analytics is, then to understanding which career stage you are in your HR journey, then that helps you to understand where you need to start the journey from. Then three is talking about the tools that you need to use. What are the various HR analytics tools that are available to you? I would give you a good recommendation. Start with Excel. Excel is like the resident, the most powerful HR analytics tool that you can start from. Because you can start to translate your people data by collecting them in an Excel file. Having a whole uh, data, in, I mean a master data that has your entire organizational data resident in Excel. Then you can start to explore other HR analytics tools like Power BI, like other HR analytics tools that are available like Tableau, like Quilling, all other ones. But you need to start from Excel. Your understanding of Excel for analytics would also help you to start to grow. Interestingly, I've done a video on Excel for HR analytics. You can get to see it up there and be able to um, get to click on the card to see that information. I also did another interesting video on using Power BI for HR analytics. That is also available for you to watch. After going through all of the videos, you feel you have a question, uh, kindly drop your comments in the comment section below 
and we'll be able to help you to chart a course on your journey to becoming a data-driven HR professional. See you in the next episode.